I think the value of the uh, CPD as it unrolls is that it's going to be a much more efficient way to provide education than what we've been doing in the past. I think it's being more mindful and more explicit around what are we teaching and are we uh, making certain that our learners are achieving uh, defined competencies. We do a good job now, but we can do a better job. I think that's the mes mes message. We can always do better. We know in clinical practice, uh, we, we achieve a standard, but there's always a better way to do things and this is, uh, I think, a, a mechanism to achieve that next level of improvement. The CANMEDS framework really is the scaffolding around which uh, uh, competency-based uh, education is built. Uh, it gives us the seven competencies, the roles uh, which are important. Um, for uh, we think as the, the whole physician is a competent physician and so it really gives us um, the tools by which we can uh, uh, develop competency and also assess it. I think it's very good as we have it now. It does need to be tweaked. Uh, there are some uh, roles, uh, some I issues related to interprofessional education, related to how we relate to other care providers. Uh, patient safety initiatives that do need to be incorporated into the CANMEDS roles. I think we need to make them somewhat more granular for each of the disciplines. Less voluminous, but uh, somewhat more specific uh, to the needs of, of each of the specialties and subspecialties at the Royal College. I think the worries that are that I have are, are likely shared by many um, people, but we're all very sensitive to time issues, time management issues, and really to construct this well, it's going to take a significant amount of time to design the milestones and all the competencies and to get them um, transparent to everyone. So time for committees to do this, time for the teachers to learn it, um, I think that could be a significant um, hurdle. I think there's a lot of worry in my 60-odd program directors of what does this mean and how are we going to do it. So within the accreditation framework, I think it's important to uh, uh, support, uh, but also not be overly critical if a program doesn't quite meet the standards of, of uh, a competency-based framework. I guess what worries me is, is uh, first the work that's going to be involved in making this happen, especially in the um, continuing professional development of practicing physicians um, <clears throat> and that a focus on on meeting certain competencies may uh, mask some other issues that, that um, need to be addressed. I am worried. I have significant concerns about the resources that are required to implement this program. We have very hard-working program directors and clinical teachers um, competency by design is going to be mean a lot of work for them and we need to have the Goral College need to support these individuals who basically are volunteers. Well the excitement is that I think it's a it's a new challenge it's a new quest it's something we should shoot for um, and I think it's the natural next step for medical education and for the CANMEDS uh, framework as it, as it gets more and more legs. Okay, so what really excites me about that is the, um, is the focus on competence throughout one's career. It really is groundbreaking in, in a way that uh, is long overdue, I think. We have, since the inception of the Royal College, used the uh, old-fashioned model of essentially the apprentice model of education where you follow me around for five years and at the end of that time you should be uh, uh, competent to uh, practice your specialty. Uh, and that has served us reasonably well, um, but it's certainly no one could say that it is an efficient way to educate someone. It does work, but it can take much longer, I think, than 
a uh, competency-based model. As chair of the GIM uh, Specialty Committee, one of the things that really gets me excited about the competency by design um, by the Royal College is our chance to really pinpoint those competencies that we really want our graduates to have when they, when they leave with. The Royal College can help us by uh, making this e-portfolio e tool more user-friendly um, and help us understand how to use it and develop um, training tools or tutorials to help us make use of it uh, better. I think workshops with specialty committees, program directors, residency training programs will be um, extremely important to have the resources um, there. And then I think the other thing that's going to be really important is um, communication, not just with um, specialty committees and residency training programs, but with universities, funders, those people who fund programs, and those people who can design alternate um, service delivery. We, you know, we need tools. We need assessment tools, we need support, we need faculty development, um, and I think we also need uh, some patience. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm.